Howdy there folks, this is Lapidary Dave, and right now I'm going to be grinding this piece of picture jasper uh, that I bought in a lot at the Albuquerque Gem Show. Uh, I have carved a piece of picture jasper before, very similar to this, uh, that I got from a lapidary and sculptor in town named Antonio. Um, I don't know what kind of picture jasper this is, or where it comes from. Very lovely stuff. Uh, not too hard, I believe it's a little bit softer than quartz. I have a rough piece here that also came in that lot. I don't know what the stuff is going for rough uh, or slabbed out, but I do see it sold uh, around town in different boutiques and such here in uh, Taos, New Mexico for um, nice prices. couple hundred dollars for a piece in silver or such. Anywho. Uh, yeah, let's get to it. On to the 80 grit. Rough. Alrighty, folks, this is my rough preform. It looks like a big cab. I'm gonna make this one into a pendant after I polish it up. Forgot to mention off camera, I did uh, shape it a little bit on a flat lap. Um, the roughest wheel on this machine is 80, and uh, I didn't want to eat, eat through it too fast. Anywho, on to the 220. Alrighty, folks, that's my 220, looking pretty good. On to my 280 soft wheel. This is some awesome stuff. A real pleasure to carve. Alrighty, folks. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Uh, it's taking my time on the 280 soft wheel. That's kind of where uh, all the facets will disappear. Anyway, on to the 600 soft. Alrighty, folks, I'm trying to dry it off for you. Uh, that is the 600 grit dry. Already a fantastic polish, and in certain situations, I know I would use that finish. Uh, as is. Just buff that with some Zam, uh, some diamond polish or something, uh, and you're done. Slap that in a silver bracelet, simple bezel and backing. Uh, yeah. Five hundred dollars right there. Anywho, this is the finish wet. 
perhaps more of what it would look like uh, with said buff. Alrighty. Anyway, on to the 1200. Alrighty, folks. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. This is the 1200 polish. Pretty dry. Fantastic. And this is the 1200 polish wet. Show you the face wet. Fantastic stone. Not ridiculous to carve. This would carve fantastically. Uh, using silicon carbide. I'm not 100% sure, but I believe that this is what they call monochrome uh, picture jasper. I was looking them all up the other day uh, before doing this video, and um, since this was the same kind of material a friend of mine gave me about a year ago, I figured maybe this stone was pretty common in New Mexico. Uh, I believe monochrome jasper, uh, picture jasper is also known as desert picture jasper. It make sense. I'm out here in the desert. Anyway, not sure, but uh, super beautiful nonetheless. Anywho, on to 3,000. Alrighty, 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 folks. Here's that picture, Jasper, at 3,000. Fantastic polish. I'm gonna buffer up, maybe with some diamond paste, maybe some Zam. Uh, yeah, and take her inside in some better light and show her off. Alrighty, here is that finished piece of picture, Jasper. All dried up, all shined up. Fantastic polish, great color, great image. This is a very nice piece. I have about two or three pounds of this stuff. It came in the lot that I bought at the Albuquerque Gem Show. I can't wait to carve it. A lot more of this red and the other pieces. A few book matched pieces, which I can't wait to carve into uh, pairs of something. Anywho, this is Lapidary Dave. Thank you for watching me. Shine up this beautiful piece of picture, Jasper. I'm not 100% sure, but if I had to guess, I would think it's monotone, excuse me, monochrome desert picture, Jasper. Uh, not sure. Beautiful. Thank you so much, folks. This is Lapidary Dave. See you next time.